Cross is just a, an amazing horse, and it was an amazing race yesterday after the Met Mile being a winner of 14 lengths. He was awesome yesterday. Were you at all apprehensive going in because the Met Mile was so amazing? Did you think he's never going to be able to, to top that? Yes, we were. We were worried a little bit about the race was such a huge race in the Met Mile. But, and then when he broke on the lead yesterday, we were a little bit worried because he was going pretty fast to go a mile and an eighth. But he's just in such good form and such an outstanding horse. It makes our job easy. Do you think to some extent, not that you've figured him out, but things have really come together for him these, these last couple, couple of runs? Because he seems a, a different horse to, to last year. Yes, I mean, he ran huge in his first race in Dubai. The spacing time-wise has been great, and we feel lucky that Joel really gets on well with the horse. He's a little bit funny, peculiar to ride, and I think that Joel really gets on great with him. And do you know where you're going to go next? Do you perhaps go straight to the Breeders' Cup, or you get a prep into him? We don't know exactly. I'll talk to Jimmy Bell and John Ferguson about there's three different races. The Woodward here at the end of the meet, the Jockey Gold Cup at back at Belmont October 8th, and then obviously to the Breeders' Cup in California. So we could do all three or one of the three. Main goal would be the Breeders' Cup. And you just mentioned spacing. Is that important, sort of two months between races, do you think, for him? Uh, this year it has worked out well. Last year he ran his best race back in three weeks, so he doesn't require that much spacing, but it's worked out well this year. So we'll just have to talk about it you know, soon, where we're going. And of course, he's not the only uh, top class grey you, you've got in, in your yard. Uh, Mahaman, pretty special as well. How's he come uh, out of his last race? Yeah, he came out of the race in good shape. It was a disappointing race, and we hope to get him back for the Travers in a couple of weeks. But, you know, he disappointed us on the Jim Dandy day, but hopefully we'll be back for the Travers. Mm, okay. And your team that came out to Dubai have really thrived since, since they came home. I think Lady Shipman was the first to run and win, and you've basically exploded this sort of Dubai bounce theory, I think. Yes, it's um, probably a plus now to go to Dubai for the winter and come back. Lady Shipman was a winner. Obviously, California Chrome in, Cal in California, he won. Frosted has won twice. Watershed won. Marking ran his best race, just missing by a neck. So, yes, it's been a, a great to go to Dubai and come back. They've all performed very well. I must ask you about Marking because I think he's a, an amazing animal. As you say, ran really well last time. It looks like, is, is it the forego next for him? Yes, we're going to point for the forego grade one, seven, eights, and, and hopefully he gets there and wins his big race. It's a grade one. The horse that beat him last time by a head came back to win a grade one. So hopefully we get ours on the 27th of this month. And I know you need to talk to the boss, but is he the sort of horse you might perhaps keep in training next year, would you say? Yeah, that's not up to me at all. I don't know. I'm just happy to train him while they're here to train. And talk to me a little bit, because I'm new here to Saratoga. You sort of ship in here, most of your team do you for the summer, and then you've also got horses based elsewhere. How does it work? Yes, we're at Belmont Park and the... Uh, um, all year and then we're at Green Tree for six months from May till November and then they go to Florida and you know maybe back to Dubai again with a small team we'll see if we have the horses that fit. Okay and I must uh, ask you about another one of, of uh, my favorites that, that you train um, Mub to Hidge that was a cracking first up effort I thought. Yes he ran very well in the Suburban and we're looking at the Woodward maybe. We also nominated to the Pacific Classic at Del Mar in two weeks, but he's doing very well, and we'll try and find another race or two for him before he goes back to Dubai. Okay, so as far as you're aware, he goes back. I mean, you gave him quite a lot of time. Was that just to get over what was quite a tough campaign for him in Dubai? Yeah, not really. He missed a couple of weeks before he came back to us, and, and we didn't get him right away. So he just took a little bit of time, but he's doing very well, and he'll probably go back to Michael Decock there in Dubai. Of course, uh, we should mention some of, of the fillies. Cavorting's a, a Group 1 winner for you, Grade 1 winner. What was the plan for her? She's pointing for the personal ensign on the 27th of August, doing very well. Very nice Bernardini filly. Mm. And uh, last night, Karina, I thought I thought ran a nice race. Um, she's come out of it okay? Yeah, she came out of it in good shape. The jockeys kind of killed each other and they went 43 and 2 which is unbelievably fast we just you know caved in after that but she came out of in good shape and we'll find another spot for her soon mm, okay yeah and i guess a, a grade one win would be the main aim for her would it yeah there's a grade two at the end of the meet the priors that's a possibility we'll see how she's doing
And the other one I haven't asked you about is uh, Centerio Italia. I think I just saw her get some new shoes. What's the plan for her? She came back and, and won impressively in a lounge race at the beginning of the meet. And we're looking at the Boston Spa again on the 27th of this month in hopes then to go to the Flower Bowl in October at Belmont to the Breeders' Cup. So she's come back in good, good form. And overall, this year, 2016 has been pretty amazing for you. Wins in, in, in Dubai, big wins here. Are you happy with how things are going? Yeah, we're going very well. We've had a great start here. We've won eight races out of like 20 starts. And to win yesterday was one of my biggest days here at Saratoga. To win that race is such an important race. I think opening weekend you were six for eight here or something, weren't you? Yes, we had a great start to the meet here, so everything's gone very well. We have a great team of owners, horses, and people, so we're very fortunate.